so we're gonna make some carrot cake. I made a little bit of batter earlier because I had a lot of carrots to use up. Um, and now we're gonna make a one-time batch. Uh, and it's, it's totally a great option for while you're quarantined because there's vegetables in it, so it's healthy. Um, and nuts, and so it's, it's just very good for you. Um, okay, so I have a pound of carrots and I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of nuts and three quarters of a cup of raisins. Um, obviously, wash your hands thoroughly before you start. Um, I know I should have said that in every single video, but wash your hands thoroughly every single time you bake. Um, yeah. If your raisins are stuck together, just pull them apart. You don't really want a, a clump of raisins in there. That would be somewhat unpleasant. Add three quarters of a cup. I'm just gonna chop that up. And it's not a fine chop, it's like kind of a medium chop. And then we're just gonna put this in with raisins and carrots. And then we're just gonna add some coconut. This is unsweetened coconut or desiccated coconut. Uh, it's gonna look different than shaved coconut. Uh, this is like a really small version of it. Sometimes it's, it's slightly bigger than that, which I kind of prefer. Um, we're gonna put our sugar and our oil together. Okay, so we got two cups of sugar and it's going to be a cup and a half of oil. Um, I don't really want to use two separate cup measures, so I'm just going to do three quarters of a cup and another three quarters of a cup. Because math! And that was the extent of my math for the day. And then I'm just going to let this go for a little while. So generally, while that's going, you can get some other stuff together. We're going to get our dry ingredients together. We need two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, and two and a quarter teaspoons of Grab over here some eggs, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then I'm going to crack four eggs, and I'm going to do it fancy like. I totally didn't get any shell in there. <laughs> and if you do get shell in your eggs, uh, that is why we crack them into a separate container, and you can pull it out with the uh, another piece of eggshell. Turn my mixer back on. Add a little squirt of vanilla. And add my eggs in. And then I'm going to turn this on low. Turn it up a little bit. And then turn it off before all of the dry mix uh, adds in completely because you don't want to over mix it. And now we have all of this stuff to add in. I'm just going to take a spoon or a cup that I've already used. Of it. Mix that in. Again, 
again, not fully mixed, which is totally fine. In retrospect, maybe I should have used the oil cup. And now I'm just gonna pour the rest in. And now I'm just gonna mix it all together. don't need a stand mixer for it. You can certainly do it without one. I find that most oil based recipes instead of like a softened butter recipe, you can just do without changing too much and without working any harder. Um, but if you have a stand mixer, you know, it makes life easier and you can mix less. I'm just going to give this one last mix to make sure that everything is even. And then I'm going to make this into cupcakes. Ice cream scoop. So this is going to make life a lot easier when you are scooping cupcakes. Done. Coke. Oh, I'll start that. 